What is up everyone? I'm Scratch. Welcome to the channel. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video. Happy Friday everyone. Hope you guys are going to have an amazing, amazing weekend ahead. The Archer Queen is back guys. Back for some, uh, for some more and uh, I have six sacreds. Thankfully, the Summon Rush is not too hardcore this time around and the uh, six sacreds will do the job. I kind of like approximated that maybe we're going to need around eight sacred shards. Six sacreds and uh, a few other uh, a few other shards to get to 3,150 points. And um, if things are staying like this on all of the events, I think it's a pretty doable uh, fusion. Like even the, what is it? The Dungeon Divers is not too insane. It's not super easy, but 3,700 is fairly decent compared to some of the previous ones that, that we had, you know? So hopefully all of the events will be as accessible as this. And more of you guys will be able to, to get the champion. I personally really like the champion, but I really like her because of the duo partner too, you know? So whenever we have duos, I'm always a bit more excited that, okay, maybe I'm going to summon him and uh, they're, they're great together. Now, we have the Archer Queen, how I mentioned. That's what I'll be putting on my uh, 15x progressive chance. I would love to get her, and I know a lot of you guys uh, are big fans of, uh, of the champion. Uh, we're going to do some summons on my account, and we're going to do some summons on one of my buddies' accounts that has pretty much the same amount of shards, and we are both hoping for the exact same legendary champion. And in terms of epics, it doesn't really matter which one, uh, which one of them we're getting from there, but I'll, I'll be breaking the ice on my account first. Good luck to all of you guys as well if you are summoning. Wish you uh, luck to get the, the legendary champion. I don't think... Uh, I got a legendary recently from Sacreds. I think... I think I opened last time quite a few and I haven't got nothing. But I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Hopefully we're going to see a nice legendary coming out of here. And what do we have? Oh, ho, ho, scratch. Just from the second sacred chart, hit the 15x. My god. Now this it doesn't happen too often, guys. Hear me out. Scratch collected the Nergigante Archer. Awesome, awesome stuff. Finally some luck. Finally some luck in the house here. But oh, baby. Aren't you amazing? Defense Aura for Dungeon Battles. The A1 has a chance to put increased accuracy on this champion for two turns. The A2 AoE attack has a chance to place a stun. If the target is a boss, she's going to put decreased speed. Also decreases the turn meter of all enemies under stun uh, placed by this skill by 20%. And fills the turn meter of all allies by 10% if a 30% decreased speed debuff is placed by this skill. Which means against bosses. So if you're gonna go in Hydra... You're going to get a lot of Termiter from, uh, from here, you know. And you have the A3, a Hex, and a Provoke. If you're attacking bosses, they're going to go on for uh, two turns and three turns, which is very, very good. This makes this champion the ultimate best Provoker in the entire game for Hydra Clan boss. Hands down, no competition here. Then the passive, which heals all allies by 10% of their max HP when attacking enemies under a Hex debuff. You're attacking four of them. You're going to get a lot of healing, a lot of Termiter too with uh, the A2. If there are multiple champions on the team with this skill, only one will activate. And then increases this champion's defense by five each time the champion receives a hit from an enemy under a Hex debuff. Oh baby, we got the Archer Queen. Let's go. So if they are planning to do a guaranteed in the future, thanks God, I don't have to stress about it. We cannot empower these characters with their copies, guys. So keep that in mind if that's your idea. It's not bad to have two of her. 100%. 100%. Let's see. Can we get another gold? Scratch. Aren't you greedy, huh? I'm not greedy at all. No, no, no. What are we having here? We have Wuji. Wuji. Three more sacred shards. And I can't believe that we hit a 15x straight off the back, man. Straight off the back. We got Claude Beast Feeder. Two more sacred shards that we gotta open anyway. We gotta open them anyway. I was gonna say, I really need a Siege Hulk. Trumbor. Trumbor. Man, the Cursed City is a pain. He's gonna be useful. I don't think I have a... I don't think I have a safe copy of him. I need to keep copies of all the epics. On, from some of them, two copies, which is just crazy. Oh, we got another Nelder. Awesome. I only had one copy of him. I'm definitely going to keep the second copy for the Cursed City. Fire Knight, whenever he's... Uh, he's coming in the rotation is going to be very, very helpful to have to because of so many multi-hits, the freeze, you know, and the passive as well, of course. But that, that will do pretty much for, uh, for my account. I will have to open two more shards of some sort just because uh, I need to, to get to get uh, 150 points. How many points you're getting from a primal 
I th you know what? Let's do a primal. Let's do a primal. Let's risk it for another chocolate biscuit. I think one primal will give me the, the points. Imagine if a mythical was dropping out of here. That would have been amazing. And I think I've completed my summon rush successfully this time around, guys. I know last vid, uh, last time when I posted the summoning video, it looked a bit depressing because we haven't summoned anything interesting from there. But hey, we managed to, to get it done this time around. And that's, uh, that's awesome, awesome stuff. Let's move over to Pirate's account. So hopefully he's going to have the exact same disgusting luck that I had. I really, I really hope so. He's in the same situation, doing it for uh, for the summon rush, you know. And uh, hopefully we're gonna bring a archer queen for him too, you know. Let's let's get an archer queen for everybody. What are you doing, game? Let me let me go to my sacred charts here. So we already have her on the progressive chance, guys. I have no idea how many secrets he opened recently. But let's let's bring the Archer Queen home. Let's bring her home. Delver, five more sacreds to go in here, guys. I think I will build mine on a Relentless. I already released a video a few weeks ago on probably the best build for her. And uh, Relentless seemed to give her the best value. If you want to have a lot of healing, Termiter, etc. Definitely Relentless is the, is the key. And a uh, Moonbeam. Come on. Come on, Archer Queen. Come on, Arch! Ah, oh, that delay, man. When they're getting you with that delay, you're like, oh, is it, is it gonna come a legendary out of it? Akak the Vanderan. He's actually an interesting champion. Uh, pretty good for uh, for the spider, and just generally, he's the, he's not a bad uh, not a bad epic. Drake. He used to call me on my cell phone late night when I used to pull Archer Queens. Come on, baby. Come on, bring one more Archer Queen and let's call it a day. Ah, oh, man. Okay. We got Cormac the high pick. And we have one more shot. One more opportunity. Please, Archer Queen, appear. I summon you. I summon you, but you're not the one. Ambassador Latlin. He's actually not a bad epic whatsoever. He's putting taunt on, a, on an ally. And uh, he can be very useful for the Shogun, for example. Or other content too. I used him in the Cursed Siri actually last rotation. And he... It was pretty, pretty solid for me. Unfortunately, for my body pirate, we haven't managed to summon him a legendary at all. It's pretty, pretty tough, man. The 6% chance, considering that it's not a 2x. I really think that we're going to have more opportunities to summon the Archer Queen in the near future. The event still goes on for almost a month or so. And I'm 100% sure that they will be doing tons of summoning events. Maybe even a guaranteed towards the end. That was all for this video, guys. I do wish you the same luck that I had on my own account, not on Pirate's account, because there was no luck there. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. Stay safe. Much love. Appreciate every single one of you guys watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.